Investments in money market funds have skyrocketed, attracting investors with their reputation as a secure refuge and returns that surpass those of bank deposits. These funds are typically seen as low-risk and easily convertible due to their investments in top-grade assets, such as short-term treasury bonds. However, funds that depend on U.S. government debt might encounter unexpected difficulties, although still improbable, if legislators fail to agree on increasing the country's borrowing cap, potentially leading to a default. The assets managed by U.S. money market funds, encompassing Treasury only, prime, and government funds, reached an all-time high of $5.2 trillion on March 29, according to data from the Investment Company Institute. In March, these funds experienced their third-largest monthly inflow ever, primarily due to stress in the banking sector caused by a massive withdrawal of deposits from Silicon Valley Bank, as noted by Peter Crane, president of Crane Data. One contributing factor to the growth of these funds has been their superior yields compared to bank deposits. Following the Federal Reserve's increase of the Fed Fund's rate target to a range of 4.75% to 5% over the past year, the average rate for money market funds stands at 4.5% and is moving toward 5%. In contrast, bank deposits yield less than 1%, according to Deborah Cunningham, Chief Investment Officer of Global Liquidity Markets at Federated Hermes. The debt ceiling represents the highest amount the U.S. government can borrow to fulfill its financial commitments. Once this limit is reached, the Treasury is unable to issue any additional bills, bonds, or notes. There are concerns that the Republican Party's slim majority in Congress could empower hardline party members, making it more difficult to strike a deal on raising the debt ceiling in 2023. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has stated that without raising the limit, the government can only meet its financial obligations until early June. Some experts predict that the X date, when the government runs out of cash and borrowing capacity, could occur in the third or fourth quarter. While legislative impasses over raising the debt limit are common in Washington and generally resolved before impacting markets, a prolonged standoff in 2011 led to Standard & Poor's downgrading the U.S. credit rating for the first time, resulting in market volatility. Although considered among the safest investment options, government officials and rating agencies have recently warned that money market funds could be susceptible to stress. In February, Fitch Ratings cautioned that the likelihood of investor redemptions and volatility in Treasury-only money market funds, as opposed to prime and government funds with alternative funding sources, could increase if investors perceived a potential government default. The agency's analysts noted that these funds could face increased volatility in the Treasury market and heightened investor redemptions as the debt ceiling deadline approaches. Treasury Secretary Yellen has also warned that money market funds are vulnerable to runs on deposits during periods of extreme market stress, urging for stronger regulation of the expanding non-bank sector. Historically, runs on money market funds have been infrequent. In 2008, a major money market fund heavily exposed to commercial paper issued by the collapsed Lehman Brothers Bank experienced a run on assets, causing its net asset value to drop below $1 a phenomenon known as breaking the buck. Crane Data's Crane highlights that some portfolio managers are steering clear of Treasury maturities prone to volatility around the X date, beyond which the U.S. may be unable to meet all its financial obligations. Additionally, some managers, such as Doug Spratley from T. Rowe Price, are opting to utilize the Fed's reverse repurchase agreement RRP, facility instead of selling treasury bills around potential technical default dates when volatility could spike. The RRP enables money funds to purchase securities from the Fed and resell them the following day at a higher price, ensuring liquidity. Spratley explains, you don't want to be a forced seller into that time, so you keep your liquidity high in something that's not going to get hit, and the biggest, easiest answer is the RRP.
Over the last 10 years, the money fund industry has also assembled working groups to plan for a possible technical default by the Treasury, notes Federated's Cunningham. In conclusion, understanding the complexities of the debt ceiling and its potential impact on money market funds is crucial for investors and policymakers alike. While money market funds have been traditionally seen as safe investments, the possibility of a debt ceiling crisis poses risks that cannot be ignored. It is essential for all stakeholders, including portfolio managers, regulators, and lawmakers, to work together and prepare for such scenarios to ensure the stability of the financial system. By staying informed and proactive, we can navigate through these uncertain times and make well-informed decisions for a more resilient financial future.